Oh, the Towton Novices Chase is next in, and this is a three mile one furlong novice event. And the top one is Battle of Trafalgar for Joshua Sutherland, Vile Moments for Darren Thompson, Battle of Agincourt for Joshua Sutherland again, Boom Docker Kevin Meenhan, In James, Derek Hinton, Mallard, Carla Agante, Ronaldinho, Paul Rhodes, Scottish Half for Stu Gray, Serpent's Golf for Jim Murray, Similarities Molly at Server, Cuisine for Carla Agante, Juniper Golf for Jim Murray, and Molly Boots for Stu Gray, and Soldier's Call for Paul Rhodes is the bottom one. So 14 then, facing the star, and away they go with Cuisine, the first to show. This season. Carla Agante front runners there, everywhere to be seen. And Cuisine is the one in this race. And over the first, they all go, and they're all safe to the other side of the first. Uh, 21 more to take, which will make 22 fences in all to take in this Towton Novices chase. Oh, and there's a fall of their serpents, golf gone, so that one's out of it. Jim Moore's still got another one in there, I think, hasn't he? Juniper Gulf still, so he's still got some interest in the race as they take the third. And Cuisine then is clear. Good to see Jim back this week after his wife banned him from playing last week because he had to go golfing. So I'm sure he'll be delighted by me telling everybody that, but uh, he, he put it in the forums in all of the threads. So I don't think it's a secret. So Mrs. Murray locked the stable doors last week and wouldn't let him play. So anyway, <laughs> Cuisine's in the lead. And a Battle of Trafalgar and Battle of Agincourt next. And Ronaldinho and Soldiers Court. Similarities on Scottish Half. Then Juniper Gulf. And then Boom Docker. Molly Boots is next. Then Mallard. In James and Vile Moments is the tail end Charlie at this point. And Cuisine has quickly got eight clear now. And one of these front runners. We've seen they've got more front runners this season than ever before. Derek Hinton's got a lot. And haven't caught so many front runners as he's got this season. It certainly stretched some of the fields out, I think. I mean, these horses going off lickety split, and uh, the jockey's already having a little look over his shoulder to see where the rest of them are as they take that ditch. That was the sixth. And uh, one or two people think that maybe adding to the pull ups, the fact that the horses are getting so stretched and too quickly that more and more are pulling up as their stamina depletes. Continue through to SO7, I wonder. And it looks like that's where we're going next. So everybody seems pretty determined that this will be the final SO6 season. Which just one or two of us have started to get the hang of it. And <laughs> take number nine. And they're all safely over that one. And Cuisine's the leader from the Sutherland pair, second and third. The two battles, Agincourt and Trafalgar. Then comes similarities, then Ronaldinho and Soldiers Corner, another couple of stable mates running together for Paul Rhodes, who's looking for a bit of a change and look after his disappointing runs in the Moors Millions races. Then Boom Docker, Juniper Gulf is still there. Then Mallard, stable companion of the leader. And after that one, Scottish Half and Molly Boots. The two Stu Gray horses are just separated by In James, who is Derek Hinton's only entry in this race. So over the 10th, oh, Molly Boots didn't jump it all that well at the back. And it's just starting to drop off, maybe inch it a little bit. With that mistake, jumped that one quite slowly as well. Cuisine's leads down to a length now as Ronaldinho comes up on the outside and here yeah, Molly Boots is being pulled up as they take the 12th. A mistake by Junior but golf this time. Cuisine's in the lead from Battle of Agincourt, Ronaldinho and Similarities as they take the 13th. They're all over that one, okay. Cuisine's still in the lead past the winning post then. Just one more circuit to go. Uh, Cuisine, they've passed it twice. We'll be hoping to lead past it a third time. With Battle of Agincourt, I'll we'll try and do something about that in second. Then Ronaldinho is in third. Soldiers Call is fourth and Similarities is five. Then Battle of Trafalgar is six and Mild is seven. Then Juniper Golf is eight and Boom Dock is nine. Then In James and finally Vile Moments. But the field are only separated by about a dozen lengths. They could all still win this. Scottish Half has been pulled up. So bad luck for Stu in this race. And both of his pulling up. I don't know, he's been particularly unhappy about the pull ups this season. As they take the 14th, he'll be even more unhappy about it after that. So, both of his gone in this race then. And he did win the Moors Millions race in a canter, didn't he? So, that should make up for it. So, they take the 15th. 
and Cuisine landed in the lead. That is being strongly challenged now by Battle of Agincourt and Ronaldinho. Similarities is going ominously well in fourth as well as they take the 16th and over that one Ronaldinho took the lead. So Ronaldinho is in front then now. Cuisine is second. Over the 17th, Cuisine out, jumped on Rodinho and gets back in front and has got the inside as well. So Cuisine doesn't want to give up that lead, does he? And look at his stable companion, Mallon, on the outside, getting closer as well as they take the 18th. And over that one, Cuisine led from Ronaldinho second. Battle of Agincourt third, then similarities. Here comes Juniper Gulf coming with a run as well as the uh, Molly at Surf Horse. Similarities now makes a forward move on the outside in the third, but it's Cuisine who's gone for home, I think, with four furlongs to go. And he's opened up by three or four lengths again to similar. Similarities in second. Ronaldinho caught a bit flat footed in third. Then comes Juniper Gulf, Battle of Agincourt and Battle of Trafalgar looking a bit one pace. Then Mallard and Soldiers call. Down towards the next they go then. And Cuisine is being hard pressed on his outside by similarities. Juniper Gulf is eating up the ground in third. They come down towards the next then. This is the fourth from home. And so, oh, he's gone. The leader's a faller. It's a crashing fall for similarities. And now all of a sudden, Battle of Trafalgar's come through to take it up. It's Battle of Trafalgar who's taken the lead. And over the 20th, and there's another fall there. Soldiers calls gone. Battle of Trafalgar's in the lead. Then the race is completely changed. Battle of Trafalgar, Juniper Gulf, Battle of Agincourt. Over the second last they go, and this time Battle of Agincourt nearly went. But it's Battle of Trafalgar in the lead. Juniper Gulf in second. One more to jump. Coming down towards the final fence. Battle. Oh, and this time it's a Jim Murray or Juniper Gulf that goes through it. And it's going to be a solid and one two. It's Trafalgar in the lead. Agincourt second. Battle of the one this then up towards on Battle of Trafalgar takes it from Battle of Agincourt. Juniper Gulf via moments Ronaldinho after that one. What a dramatic race again. And it's a 1 2 for Joshua Sutherland. We're seeing quite a few 1 2s this week. And Battle of Trafalgar takes it. Battle of Agincourt second. Juniper Gulf for Jim Murray was third. Vile moments for Darren Thompson fourth. And Ronaldinho for Paul Rhodes was fifth.